Hey, I'm in the process of creating a song insight video for 21 Pilots song Ride. And in this mini vlog, you're going to follow me through the behind the scenes analysis of figuring out how the song works and what makes it so good. Okay, so the first step I'm going to do is go to, uh, well, I'm just going to search 21 Pilots Ride chords and the hit is going to be Ultimate Guitar. They basically have the best tabs and the cool thing is you can see ratings of how many people rated a given version so I'm going with version 3 and this is what we found so the first thing out of the gate is we see that it has just a handful of chords and that's great not not too crazy the nice thing about 21 pilots is they're really good at coming up with amazingly awesome melodies with a really simple chord progression and we're gonna pick that apart in this video one thing that I see out of the gate though, is that the tuning is kind of weird. That basically every string on the guitar is tuned down a half step to accommodate the fingering so that the fingering is easy. But the problem with that is that most of the song is actually with a piano well, on a keyboard. And so if you're playing this fingering, you're, you're bending over backwards to make the guitar fit with the piano part, and the piano part is not in some different key. So we're gonna work that all out in this video. Um, so it has kind of a reggae rhythm, but the chords are really simple. So we've got G flat major to an A flat minor, E flat minor. Oh no, sorry. We've got G flat major to an A flat minor. Oh yeah, no, that is E flat minor. And then B. And then it starts over again. G flat major, E flat minor, E flat minor, and then to a D flat major, and then back to a G flat major. It's really just cycling through those chords pretty much the whole song. And with a few bar chords, you can play all of them without having to adjust the tuning of the guitar, because again, if you want to play with yourself, um, <laughs> if you want to play along with yourself in an instrumental musical kind of way, then you can tune, you can play in tune, record the part in the correct key, and then play the keyboard. Or if you want to play uh, with your friends, <laughs> then, then everyone's on the same page and you're playing together. So um, let's cut it right here because this is not that kind of. Let's figure that out on the keyboard now. So, it's uh, listening to the actual recording. It's a really high pitch keyboard. Okay, and they're playing on the upbeat. So it's, uh, let's see. Let's try this. So, what's kind of interesting there is, so it's the G flat major to the E flat minor. And then he changes the inversion. It's still A flat or E flat minor. And then up to that uh, C flat major. So, so that's the same chord, but by changing the inversion, it almost sounds like it's a different chord to sound harmonically like there's more movement going on, but really he's just holding on that E flat minor for a long time. And then goes to the C flat major. 
to then lead back to the G flat major. So, um, cycling through that, and then instead of going to the C flat uh, major, he sometimes goes to the D flat major, and then back to the G flat major. The chords are implied on this part, but when you play along with it, those chords are still going on in the background. So the bridge section um, has, normally in a song, the bridge section is definitely for some variety. It's a bridge between different sections, so kind of like get you from one part of the song to another. And in this case, the bridge is definitely some different harmonic movement. It's the same chords, but he rearranged them in a way to give some variety. So just figuring that out right now. And here, it's shown to be in the key of C, uh, F sharp. <clears throat> and really, F sharp, you could call it F sharp, G flat, they're enharmonic names for the same chords, meaning they're synonymous. G flat is F sharp. So I'm trying to match his inversions too, because he could have you know, just played it more easily, like less finger movement. So play it like that, but he came down here, so figuring that, figuring out the inversions as much as the actual chords, because that does, the inversion does have an influence on the way the end result sounds. So. That's not right. Oh, it's minor. Okay, so. part, actually, the, honestly, the first time I heard that song, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. But playing it, it's actually probably the funnest part, because it kind of slows things down, and it's really a nice chord progression, uh, quite a bit different than the verse and chorus sections. So, let's diagram this out to see why the chords are moving. Actually, let's, let's figure out what mode this is in first. So, G flat is the major one, uh, is the tonic. So, we're going to go through all the other chords. Now, one thing about these chords, these chord diagrams, is that they show up in order of how they appear in the song, but they're not necessarily like, they, that doesn't tell us anything of how they appeared in the song. We want to see how they function within the song in terms of music theory. So we've got G flat and then A flat minor is A flat. And then G flat, A flat, C flat is here, D flat, uh, E flat, minor. And all right, so we were going to see which mode this is in. So let's see what it is. It's a G flat major chord, so it's a major one. So we know it's not Dorian. And we know it's not Phrygian, and we know it's not 
Aeolian or Locrian, because those tonic chords are minor or diminished. So we're gonna cross that out. So that leaves us with Ionian, Lydian, or Mixolydian. Now, A flat minor is a minor two, so that rules out Lydian, because that has a major two, but it could be Mixolydian, and then C flat major is a major four, so that could be Mixolydian or Ionian still. D flat major is a five, chord a major five, and that's only in Ionian. Ionian has a major five, Mixolydian has a minor five, so it's not Mixolydian. And then this six chord, minor sixth, E flat minor sixth is a minor six. So we know that 21 Pilots Ride is in G flat Ionian. But we wanna understand more than just what mode this is and what the chords are, why we're moving between these chords. So I'm gonna diagram out the different sections, the verse, the chorus, and the bridge to really get a feel for why, why we're flowing within these chords within the G flat Ionian mode. So I spent a little bit of time diagramming out the harmonic space to see how these chords flow. And it's actually really beautiful. It's cool to see how the chords flow. In some songs, it's kind of like crazy zigzags. In this case, it's really nice looping motions from the tonic to the minor two and on down. This is the uh, intro, verse, and chorus. They all repeat the same chord progression. The song's pretty repetitive that way. And then in the bridge and outro, it's a lot of the same chords. It just skips the major four and has a little more back and forth between some of the chords. I know this is a pretty short uh, mini vlog because the song is actually pretty simple. Um, it's deceptively simple in how awesome the end result is. So I'm gonna uh, do a full song insight on this. So definitely check that out and I'll see you later.